Was it Dave? How's the kayak? That's fine. Yeah, no, it's good. Beautiful morning here on August the 9th out on the circuit now. Yesterday we did a nice route recce of the other direction. We checked out the blowdown situation. And, uh, some park people had cut through a lot of the blowdown recently. So we're going to go in the opposite direction first because this way is the longest portage probably the one in the worst condition. So if we can't get through this one, we can just turn around and come back. And if we can get through this one, we can most definitely get through the other ones. Because the other ones in the middle are no more than 600 meters each. And then the last one is eight or 900 meters. And take the lake route, it's only about 260 meters, and then you paddle the rest on Janus Lake. I was wondering why you guys were cutting right across the lake. I'm dyslexic. I do everything backwards. Especially Halfway through the first portage, which is usually the last one, and it's all uphill, but there's very minimal blowdown, and what is blown down has been uh, cut up nicely by the park. Not all that long ago either. Fresh sawdust. Although I got a wedgie, really bad wedgie, very persistent wedgie. I knew I should not have worn these boxers. Always go with tidy whiteies or swim shorts, boxer briefs. Don't don't do this with loose fitting boxers. I knew better, but I got lazy this morning and didn't want to dig through and find my boxer briefs. Now I'm paying for it with it. Now finally on the next lake. I can't remember what this lake is called. I think it's called Next Lake or something. Very British. If you're a history nerd, you'll understand what I mean by very British to name something like that. Great. 
creativity in how they name things. So yeah, I think this is next lake. Very short lake. Only about 300 meters. Doing a little bit of weed whacking here with the paddle. It's not good for this Rolled my ankle once. Thank God I was wearing these boots. It was a rock. There was a group of rocks where my foot just didn't land quite right. And then it slipped and rolled. Had that split second of, oh, am I done? <laughs> God bless these 511 swap boots. It's too bad the park didn't create a campsite somewhere along here. Yeah, but like, that's unfortunate. Because it'll be worth it to come out here for a couple nights. What's the name of this lake? Boulder? Well, I don't see any boulders. Now I gotta get to the other side of the boat. If you hear a splash, you know what happened. Gorgeous. Reminds me a lot of the Joe Robinette, Sean James videos out in uh, Ontario, Canadian Shield. Pretty darn high up here. I think it's 40 or yeah, 4,300 feet. 13. Hundred meters, so a little over a kilometer above sea level, and almost a mile. And because there's no peaks nearby that are taller, it looks like this is flat country. But in reality, we're pretty darn high up from the main highway, Highway Five. Highway 5 is at least 600 meters below us. Probably more like 8. Well, 
chose to do a double portage and take the life jacket and three days assault pack first and it was a good idea I did that because oh my gosh this 500 meter ish portage trail is ugly so this is going to be full of f-bombs doesn't quite suit my physique. It just drills right into my clavicle on both sides. And my traps are rather angry about it. But this thing's 55 pounds empty. Here we go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. This is the worst part. It's almost vertigo, vertical. And there's huge boulders here. I guess they're not huge. It's big. Oh! I'm really glad I double portaged that because it gave me a chance to see what I was about to get into. Yeah. That ought to be the worst of it. You know what, on second thought, let's turn around and go back. <laughs> I wanted to take longer breaks, but after 30 seconds being stopped, just swarmed. buzzing into my eyes or my ears. Yeah. I rolled my ankle again, although it was a different ankle. Gotta balance it out, right? I like how you strap down that waterproof bag. Does it work? <laughs> now we're not out here for aesthetics. Well, there's some things there because there's water in here too, so oh. there's like nothing to clean up all the Oh, yeah. I guess those kayaks are good for a day trip or one overnighter, right? a bit too much space. But man, is it ever nice when we go on those really long trips. Um, I think the worst problem is the yoke is not quite to my physique. I'm a little bit more bony than it's probably designed for. So it was digging into my clavicles really good. Other than that, my Back and hip held up all right. But every time I had to lift the thing up after a break, oh, that was brutal. Yeah, I'm a 
little bit disappointed about that. Ouchie. And Ouchie. Very last portage out in the distance. With a very narrow channel through there to link these two little lakes. Nice little channel here in between two lakes, the last two on the circuit. As you can see, it's really, really small little channel. That's going to be our last portage there out in the distance. If you're doing the circuit the intended way, that would be the first portage. It is only 2.55 and we started this at about 925 and because of my really bad back I went fairly slow through the portage especially here at the end some of them were a little on the short side but a lot on the difficult side whereas the longest portage which is about 1.1 1.2k it's quite difficult, mostly by length. The train is moderate, whereas some of these shorter ones were short, but quite difficult. Uh, definitely make sure if you're doing this circuit that you're shouldering your canoe or kayak and make sure you got good ankle support boots like I do. These uh, 511 SWAT boots are great for lots of things, especially stuff like this. Well, that be it, folks. This is the end of the lake. The campsite's just there on the right over there. This is the beginning or end of Janus Lake, depending on what direction you take. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video.